Welcome back to San Diego. It's the Golf Industry Show here, GCSA TV Live, brought to you by Lebanon Turf. I've got the man, Rhett Evans, the CEO of GCSA, <laughs> and the man from Epic, Cre Ep Epic Creative, Tim Merath, uh, taking place for Jim Becker, who had to get out of here a yes, little bit. I, of course, yes. had a long history with Jim Becker. We are here to celebrate 10 years of this, right? 10 years Hard of to believe. Yeah. traveling around golf courses, 10 years of live TV at the show. Six years. It's our six, six years year of, of the life. show, but ten years of telling our story with video. We were just talking before you came live. You've been with GCSA ten years. You came here. You could have. I don't know what this is. Let's get rid of this. You said, "Hey, let's go." How has it been so successful in ten years? Right? Well, if, if, if you think of our our aims, our objectives with the association, it's really to share information. Right. Um, it's to bring people together. Um, it's to help educate and, and provide uh, learning opportunities and to be able to see things visually, especially in the format that Epic Absolutely. does uh, as it relates to video, as it relates to highlighting our members. That's and, correct, and, and that, peer, that yeah. peer case study thing. You know, you're going out, what's going on? Superintendent can watch and say, well, that's a golf course superintendent. I do that. Right. I think right. I can approach that. So it was yeah. another platform to expand the education. Absolutely. But... You guys had some particular expertise in this area, right? I'm old Absolutely, enough to remember yeah. when Becker started. I was in Madison on the University of Wisconsin faculty. That's right, yeah. And Jim was just getting going. Uh, I think Paul Latcha might have started shooting some of those safety videos. That's I right. know Darren, Darren was, was his own celebrity yeah. there That's for right. a while, yes. right? And so um, what did you think when you were approached about this 10 years ago to say, hey, maybe this is something we should work with together? Yeah, so starting out with the Golf and Environment magazine back in the day, it was oh. actually on VHS tips, so we sent that out <laughs> to 20,000 people, and then that eventually went to CD, we changed it to Superintendent's Video Magazine, and then obviously with YouTube and Internet, we want to, you know, take the technology to the superintendents, get that message out to more people. So we approached the GCSA, flew out in uh, December of 2008, and wow. pitched the idea to... We should have Let's TV. go online with this, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. And, uh, so nowadays, you'd almost say it's like our own YouTube channel. That's right. To a certain extent, you know, when you go to GCSA TV online, there's things I was talking about seven or eight years ago. Now, of course, I'm full of baloney. Eight, <laughs> seven or eight years later, hopefully nobody goes back and watches those videos. Well, they are but, now. But the, <laughs> they're, they're but the unique perspective, right? You talked about the unique perspective they took highlighting the members. Right. You must see that continue to resonate after all these years. Well, absolutely, and we're going to continue to do that because I think when you look at the challenges that we're facing in this industry, whether it's dealing with water, whether it's dealing with just fighting disease and different challenges that right, superintendents right, right. Are, th uh, are constantly battling with, um, to be able to highlight those in a video and to be able to get that information right. and put it put it on a platform that that uh, is engaging, yeah. um, that that's doing paying dividends for our members that's to gain exactly that education right. and the production quality, right? I mean, I we, you know we the people behind the curtain here, no one ever sees. So we'll shout yeah. out to all those people doing yes. the production, hidden in the black room editing things. But that production value really makes it look very professional. Yeah. And I think that's also changed. You know, anybody can shoot a video with their phone, and many people do. And there's some, not to say there isn't value to that, but you put some emphasis on production quality. You want to talk Absolutely. a little bit about your approach to going out and shooting golf courses? Yeah, we want to represent the industry in the best light possible. I mean, it's the superintendents, what they do, that profession. Um, we have a lot of respect for, and we feel like representing it as best we can is really important. So. Uh, we want to make sure that that quality is at the top it can be. And part of what you're representing that I continue to see when I watch a lot of these videos is the natural environment that you shoot, right? When you go to a golf course, you're not only highlighting what maybe it's a mower or it's a practice, you're looking at the whole operation, giving the superintendent a chance to sort of practice. Now, I'm sure Darren's a successful president because of all the schmoozing he did <laughs> back in the early days. I mean, he was the face of GCSA TV yeah, he did a lot of back the in the day. Videos, I think most right. of us thought he was going to be a weatherman in yeah, South Florida. Yeah. Or, yeah. or something, the way he was working on it yeah. back then. Of course, he's you know, so well-spoken. He's a presence as a, as a figure as well. So that sort of made it a little bit accessible because you had a superintendent hosting this right, for a while. Right. And, you know, I'm, of course, old enough to remember, didn't we used to have something on ESPN? Didn't we have a little five minute? Know, we had like a show that would be on in the morning when no one was watching on <laughs> Sunday. That I think the GCSA was producing it back then. So we've come a long way from the days of Darren. Now, what we are we finding that superintendents are more amenable to having the crews out to their house? 
out, out to their out to their oh, courses? Oh, I think absolutely. And it I, seems like some of them might like. Nah, I don't want anybody coming. No, no, video no. I, here. I think um, it's and, quite and, the opposite. Yeah, actually. you could you could answer that better than I can. But I, I think that's that's the beauty of our profession um, in terms of that sharing information. And it's been that way since 1926 yeah, when we sure. came together. And it was to hey, I'm having this challenge, and here's how I what I've done to to try to solve this problem. Mm -hmm. And if it works. I share it, and so um, right. I, I think they're totally open to coming and, and, and having the video team there and Epic Creative uh, create a, a compelling story to share with the superintendent down the road. And I think what I think has to has have, must have contributed to the success is that not only do the superintendents maybe want to have this happen, but the partners who uh, exhibit at the trade show are investing in this platform, right? They're either using this platform to promote some of their own things or just supporting the idea that GCSA has created this platform for educators like me or other people that are shooting video. So how has that been from a partner's perspective offering them this platform of video? Well, and I think that's an, uh, an important point that you make and, and while um, you look around and you see the over 500 exhibitors that we have here and, and many of them have, have utilized uh, the services of Epic Creative, but at the end of the day, GCSA is a not-for-profit. That's exactly and so, right. um, you know, we have to find ways in which we can partner with these industry uh, partners to be able to provide this education. And so, um, to be able to do that with our partners and to have those that free free opportunity right. for our members to gain education. We couldn't do it without these partners. Okay, so because we're talking about video and TV, we're gonna take a minute here and talk about bloopers. <laughs> <laughs> Things that you did in 10 years, like, oh man, maybe that wasn't a good idea, right? Maybe we shouldn't have done that particular thing. I think I'll stand over here on yeah, this okay. side and we'll listen. <laughs> and let's listen see what he this. said, yeah. right? Because yeah. obviously it didn't make it to the main tape, right? There, I know from shooting with you, there's always, always. really fun, funny things when you just, you can't compose yourself. No matter how hard you try, you cannot compose yourself. And I do this a little bit. Superintendents don't do this at all. They're not standing in front of the camera doing it. You know, they're trying to talk about what's in their cars. Oh, I'm, 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 uh, I think that's a screwdriver. I don't know what it is. <laughs> Have you had enough of those that makes it fun for everybody? Well, I think it's, it's a great point. We should probably put together a bloopers reel because we, we have After 10 a years? lot of footage of that. And it's usually just people misspeaking, not knowing the name of something as they're going through their cart and doing the work. But what's early in your on, car. when you're starting to work with these guys, you had some experience, but you had to have, huh, how do I work on a golf course? How do, there's 200 acres here. Am I supposed to shoot every bit of it? What's a B roll look like? What, what kind? I mean, you always go armed with the questions and the things you want to mm -hmm. say, but you don't always necessarily know how you want to do it. How has shooting on a golf course been its own challenge? It's really just following the superintendent and letting them tell their story. Um, as soon as we get on the course, it's amazing how welcomed we've been on the courses, and they want to tell their story. They want to share with their peers. They, they want to be on GCSA TV and help educate other people. So. It's really easy to just follow in the cart or be in the cart with them and go around the course mm -hmm. and they see things and they want to tell you about things and you kind of let it happen organically. So it's really not going in with a big distinct plan that you want to get through. It's just letting the superintendent do what he does. I, hey, here's, here's not a blooper, but I was just thinking as you're talking, I remember an experience uh, with GCSA TV. We were at the uh, We Want event, right? right? Okay. Uh, just a great organization yeah. that, that raises money for, for individuals in need. and, and, and uh, we are playing in a, in a charity golf tournament right. and Epic was there, GCSA TV filming this thing and for whatever reason they had this infestation of these gnats, right? Okay. And so then they were, every time you'd go in the shade it would just be like this swarm of gnats and the sun was shining so they said, you know what, let's kind of come over here in this shady area and so we're all hooked up ready to go <laughs> and it's, 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 it, they're filming and, and all of a sudden just gnats all over the lens. I'm thinking, should I just keep on going? They're buzzing in my ears, and I just I held held my ground, and uh, we got it we got it done. But that was a pretty ugly scene with the oh, invasion man. of the gnats. So they <laughs> they, uh, they they earned their keep that day. You, you know, it's hard to shoot outside just to shoot video outside because you don't know what's going to happen. A lot of times you're hoping for good light, right? And then it's where can we put the cameras? Now, of course. The technology's improved a lot, right? Absolutely. I mean, so t can you talk a little bit about that over 10 years? The technology you used to use 10 years ago to the technology you're using now? Oh, absolutely. Even when we started out 2009, when we were shooting these stories out there, we had to even watch panning across the course, especially with organic matter. You have trees, you have the grass, you have different shades of green. 
the compression technologies and the internet speeds weren't fast enough, if you did a fast pan, it would pixelate and it would mm. delay and you'd get uh, loading errors. And so we had to shoot a very specific way in those, those first few years huh. at a very low quality and just do real huh. static shots. So you couldn't uh, have really high quality because you couldn't display it because of the limitations of the network. Yeah, so not a lot of movement. We just had huh. to just lock things down do a lot of static shots and that's obviously So you changed. had better cameras, now, you just couldn't use them. Exactly, huh. exactly. You know, and I, I think I need to take a little credit there being the technology uh, wizard that I am. I'm I, mean, I, I haven't uh, heard. Well, I, I mean, I helped him out a little bit. Is uh, 220, 225, we put some ball bearings in there. Yeah. And every, everything, <laughs> everything's ball bearings nowadays. That's so, right, are there ball bearings in those cameras? <laughs> yeah. And, and so I mean, especially when you're doing the panoramic thing, I mean, it's just, it's just, it, it's unbelievable. I mean, the quality now that we have with the ball bearings and so 220, 225 in terms of electrical voltage coming in. But, so I mean, we're just here well, to We're help. just so glad so we it's have a good someone. Partnership. That's yeah, exactly it's a right. Good partnership. <laughs> that is really good. So now that you have this bandwidth on the network to get that information out, has it opened up the kinds of things you can do, not just in quality, but the kinds of stories you can tell? I think the kinds of stories are pretty much the same. Um, we're just looking for quality content, what the superintendents want to watch. We're constantly looking at our viewership and you know what is being watched and what's popular. Um, super dogs, superintendents love dogs. I think we've learned that with oh, several dogs. stories yeah. today. And you know, I want to lodge a complaint. Can I lodge a complaint on the 10 year anniversary? <laughs> Absolutely. I only had one animal gig this year. We had the owl the and the falcon. Yeah. yeah, where were the dogs? Oh man, they were I all over the place. I see the dogs over there. We can't get the dogs over here. Yeah, well, you know what? I bet we you they were giving did. away the dogs last year. We had oh, everybody. We, we up gave them away again. I know, but well, know. before before they leave the building, we ought to bring them over here. They have a piece have of some, cake. That's yeah. exactly right. All right, With listen. Frank. All right, so so listen. There's a bit of a celebration planned. I know that's that. Right. I saw you guys celebrating a little bit last night, and the crawl was so hard on Darren, he he couldn't even make it here today. Oh, hey, Darren's yeah, he here. Let's bring him up. Come yeah. on, Darren. Let's hear from yeah, Darren. Yeah, we Davis. did uh, 39 uh, chapters last night, and uh, we wore him out, but he's got a uh, he was yeah. just fired up some Red Bull, and so here he is, so Mr. He's Darren not Davis. Mike, so he can't talk. So I got to stay really close. The face of GCSA TV in the early years, Darren, right? Thanks for joining us. We're about to throw hats out, I've been told. Yeah. We're not throwing the cake, Rhett. We're Dang not it. throwing the cakes. But there's hats. We do, is there a giveaway of some sort? We are going to do a giveaway. Doing? So we had online entries, so we picked a winner. So we're going to announce that. Let's do that. What are we, we giving away? Yeah, let's do that first. There what is it? We're going to find out. It's going to be up here. Oh, you got to be present to win? You do not. You have to be wearing a white jacket to win. <laughs> it's not you, Bill. Nothing Sorry. more past than a past president, Bill. So our winner is? Matt Stats. In the great state of Wisconsin, Madison. Matt Stats. Does he happen, Badgers. Does he happen to be here? No. All right. Wow. It's so Matt wins a Mavic uh, drone. A drone. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Ah, it's a good, good prize on go, behalf Aaron. of GCSA TV, or yeah. GCSA and Epic Creative, to kick things off. And then we have a whole bunch of giveaways. Every month, we're going to be giving away. Uh, thanks to our sponsors. We're going to kick it off in March uh, with Syngenta. It's going to go away to Harman Kardon speakers. So go to gcsa.tv slash 10. That's the number 10. And enter each month and ma make sure to check back each month for oh, each great. prize. And a year-long celebration. Through the rest of the year, 10 months. 10 well, months of prizes for 10 years. because this cake's not going to be good. No, no, no. That's we'll we'll eat that tonight. tonight. <laughs> so congratulations. Now you've got a mic. Can we bug you before we get out of here? Of course. What made you think it was a good idea to be the face of this thing early on? Uh, Jim Becker and I, I don't have a mic. Yeah, we're technologically challenged sometimes. <laughs> Are we going to let him talk? We got. <laughs> uh, <laughs> past the past <laughs> that's, right, <Bill. laughs> that's right. All right, listen, we're losing time here, so let's do the hats. We want to do the hats. Are we throwing these hats? Absolutely. Is it, is it, people want hats? Should we throw hats? We'll throw yeah, hats, right? We're throwing hats. Yeah, we'll throw hats. Grab some hats. Right? With a 10 on them? Oh, these are pretty cool. There you they go. are pretty cool. Maybe we shouldn't throw them. Well, let's uh, before we, right. uh, let's just see how far we can get them back oh. there, though. They don't fly very far. There we go. Too far? Oh, that was bad. There we go. This is great. How about a hat? There you, there go. you go. How about you sitting Happy there? birthday! Oh. We ought to sing or something. It's 10 years. Well, Happy I'm birthday, GCSA oh, TV. <laughs> All right, there we go. Now we have cool. cake and there's going to be a gathering off to the side for those that are interested in that gathering. Can I, we wrap it up? We ready for the wrap up? Okay, big shout out to the crew in the back yes. that made this Thank possible you. for this year that you won't see. Jim for yelling at me all for the last couple of days. My co-hosts, Chris Gray, Scott Hollister, uh, that were also on the stage. Thank you very much for a wonderful conference. 
live from GCSA TV, brought to you by Lebanon Turf. We're wrapping it up here in San Diego. Thanks very much. See you next year in Orlando. See you in Orlando.